Welcome to Manga Experts. We are back with another top 10 recommendation list. If you like our videos, please leave a like and subscribe for regular updates of our videos. Without any further ado, let's get started. Number 10. I'll be taking a break for personal reasons. Yu Il-shin is a third-rate web novel author. Everyone who hears his name makes fun of him because his name means only God in Korean language. Yu Il-shin lives in a society where only hunters are treated well. His awakened ability is a bit strange. He gets an app on his smartphone. After killing ants and completing missions on the app, his real-life talents can also increase. So, Yu Il-shin starts grinding money and making more followers as he uses the app. This manhwa took different unique elements like the mobile app system from I Just Want to Game in Peace and other fantasy manhwas with dungeon system and made it into a really unique story. The art of this manhwa is top tier and fight scenes also look amazing. Characters are also written well and they never get annoying. The world building is the best thing in this manhwa. It gets better as the story progresses. This is a must-try fantasy gem. Number 9. Reborn Ranker Gravity User Monsters have invaded the world through an interdimensional hole, and levels and skills needed to oppose them have manifested. Not knowing that its limits would surface early on, Ikoma chooses the Thief class and worked his way up to being an S-ranked adventurer. However, his skills don't advance as much as he thought they would, and he's ultimately brought to ruin. It's then that the ferocious dragon attacks the town he lives in. Ikoma succeeds in using his thief skills to steal a rare item from the dragon, which can rewind time. Now that Ikoma has gone back 10 years, he makes use of the knowledge he gained the first time around to gain the Hidden Gravity Manipulator class. This is a colored manga with dungeon-type theme. It starts off quite good, but after a few chapters, we start seeing many Japanese cliché stuff. The main character has knowledge about future, but he's a good guy and he doesn't kill others, which can put some readers off. There's also a lot of power of friendship type moments in it. The art is really good, and fight scenes are well portrayed. Overall, it's still a readable dungeon type manga with good art and a go-with-the-flow type story. Number 8. Transcension Academy so Jun, who had been working to save in order to pay off his dead parents' debt and to attend the Hunter Academy, ended up needing to spend all his savings for surgery due to an unfortunate accident. In his moment of despair, a weird ad played which said he can also become an Awakener. He decides to register since he had nothing else to lose, but it turns out this Hunter Academy is on a different dimension than other Hunter Academies and our main character is the only one who can attend its lectures. This is a dungeon-type manhwa with primary focus on drama and training. The art is average, but the fight scenes are well transitioned. The main character also has a kind nature. Only read this manhwa if you want some hunter-type drama. Number 7. Warrior High School In the 21st century, Earth has fused with another world. An era of dungeons teeming with monsters and the adventurers that raid them is on the rise. Also, the most elite educational facility in South Korea that fosters these adventurers, Warrior High School. One day, while dungeon smuggling in order to pay for his sick father's medical treatments, Yu Jar Yong comes across a particular teen. She's loaded with cash and asks him to join the Warrior High School in order to boost her status in the school. This is a good dungeon drama with unique world building. The main character has a cool personality. The side characters are also written well. The art is pretty good and it upscales during fight scenes. Fight scenes are also transitioned well. Only read this if you want a dungeon type manhwa with solid drama and action. Number 6. A gate opened on my first day as a politician. Han Sung Moon is a young man who ended up getting elected into office as an assemblyman by coincidence. He ran for office without much expectations, but his opponent was caught for violating election fund laws, and he won with pure luck of the heavens. He thought he was the luckiest man alive as he was being sworn into office. That was until the roof of the National Assembly building collapsed as a monster fell in. 
This was the chaotic, spicy tale of a post-apocalyptic gate hunter's political adventure. The new take on the dungeon genre is quite refreshing. The story of this manhwa is quite good, with both political drama and a dungeon crisis. The main character is very good in political affairs, and he's also good at using his brain. The side characters are also decent enough. The art can be a bit mediocre sometimes, but it still gets the job done and it grows up on you in no time. The world building is also looking good for now. Try this if you want some new variations in the hunter genre. Number 5. I Stole the Number 1 Ranker's Soul One day, Son Moa fell into a dungeon and became a gathering hunter. Son Moa somehow narrowly escaped death. She was going to live a normal life, but she gets caught up in a dungeon yet again. In a moment of crisis, she's rescued by So Ji Han, the number one ranker, and succeeds in surviving the situation. Somehow, Son Moa got entangled in a fateful relationship with said number one ranker, and he wants her to kill all the dungeon bosses around the world. This manhwa has a female main character, but she's not annoying at all. The story is quite good, but there are some messed up power scaling issues in it. But you will not even realize it if you don't pay too much attention to it. The art is quite good, and the world building is also looking good for now. The side characters are also written very well, and none of them are annoying at all. There's also a lot of good drama in it. The main character has a cheat skill, which makes her almost overpowered within 15 chapters. Only give this a try if you want a decent dungeon manhwa with good drama. Number 4. Player Who Returned 10,000 Years Later One day, the main character suddenly found himself in hell. All he had was the desire to live in a predatory ability. From the first to the 9,000 circles of hell, he absorbed hundreds of thousands of demons. Even the seven great dukes of hell bowed down before him. He had everything that's available in hell, but there was nothing to eat, nothing to enjoy. The only things in hell are the barren lands and terrible demons. After 10,000 years, he decides to head back to Earth. The story of this manhwa has some minor similarities to other returner player type manhwas, but the execution of the plot in this manhwa is better. The art is really good, and it shines the most during fight scenes. Characters are also written very well, and the world building is also executed very well. The main character is ruthless and overpowered from the start, so that's also a plus. Number 3. I Obtained a Mythic Item In a world where technology and magic are almost indistinguishable from one another, monsters and creatures of myth and legend rain terror upon mankind. In humanity's darkest moment, individuals with godlike powers emerge to save the day. They are the Awakened. Jae Hyun is a feeble awakened human raider who struggles to make ends meet until one day a series of confounding events allow him to claim a powerful item that will change the course of history forever. This is a good dungeon type regressor manhwa. The story is quite amazing, the art is also good and it becomes better during fight scenes. The main character also has a decent personality and the side characters are also written very well. The world building is also top notch. The only major problems is that the chapters are very long and there's a lot of unnecessary drag drama which can become a little bit boring for some readers. Other than that, this manhwa is recommended for every dungeon genre fan. Number 2. Auto Hunting with My Clones Sang Woo is a college student. He decided to join an awakening program on an ordinary day, a system that enables even an average person to learn skills. The government has proceeded with this awakening program since a few years ago. Thus, most of the population took the program and is awakened now. Sang Woo also participates in the program just like the others and gets cloning skill. The people around him think that the clone is just an illusion, but Sang Woo realizes that the clone is real and decides to become a hunter. As Sang Woo was living well, using his skill, Jumper George Lucas appeared in front of him. After seeing the cloning skill of Sang Woo, he saw its potential and thus started to get interested in Sang Woo. Eventually, Sang Woo was living as a hunter. He discovered Lucas's plan and the dark secret behind it. This is quite an interesting take on the hunter's genre. The story of this manhwa is quite good and cute at the same time. The main character has a good personality, but he's also not a pushover. 
He also uses his head a lot. The side characters are also written well. The world building is also well connected. The art is also cute, and panels are well transitioned. Overall, it's a must try for all Hunter genre fans. Number 1. Dungeon Odyssey In the depths of the underground world, live the descendants who were born and raised by feeding on the teats of beasts. These individuals with special abilities and enhanced physical abilities were known as Dungeon Babies. Amongst them, Kim Jin Woo was born in the labyrinth on the lowest floor. He never tried to become stronger, he just wanted to survive. This is a story of a lowly tunnel digger who ascends the throne to become the king of a labyrinth. This is a good mix of dungeon and kingdom building manuas. It's like a treat for kingdom building genre fans. The main character is a total badass and the side characters are also written well. The world building of this manhwa is marvelous with many unique themes. The art is also top notch and well polished. The system of the dungeon can be a bit confusing for some readers who have not played any kingdom building type games, but once you get the hang of it, you're gonna love it. I highly recommend giving this awesome manhwa a try. Do you agree with our picks? Check out our other videos for more suggestions and don't forget to give us a like before going. Until then, take care and we will see you in our next video.